welcome to another 3d comparison video can common sense machine ai recreate the new peugeot 408 this is the case study let's take a look we are going to start with this model and what i find it really odd for car concept defined by this platform is that most of them will have a logo that resembles the tesla logo so if you're going to take a look over here it quite resembles let's say the overall shape of this even though it's way um, pixelated and deformed and over here where we should have had that special new logo with the lion head we're gonna see that we have we have something similar with the top element but now looks more like the pi symbol overall the shapes are still bad so the software still doesn't properly adjust the length and width of the cars and the best let's say region of of the reconstruction will be over here for the headlamp the led headlamp that was present over here within the photo so overall this is the proposed 3d model for this I will jump over here in Blender where I have opened multiple models and we're going to see that this will be that reference. If I'm going to take a look, it will be oddly deformed over there, so quite uh, wide compared to the length. So for the following reference, we're going to take a look at this one. This is, let's say, the most decent side view reconstruction maybe part of that reason is because the photo was mainly focused over here so everything that it is on the side is well defined we also had some of the back of the car but as we can see that is not that well defined and again we have the same um, logo that is weirdly shaped like a t so something similar with tesla which makes me wonder that maybe the, the model behind was mostly trained using Tesla cars. And now within the front, we see that it's completely off and the model is quite, quite bad. So let's take a look at the next model. Over here, we had the front view of the car. And as you can see, the platform considered from the front view that uh, the car should be way smaller so something like um, a smart but even for a smart is quite uh, squished on this axis and on the front we're gonna see the logo has a weird shape so i'm not sure maybe it's it resembles the ford sign and also some elements from uh, hyundai but the overall shape i think is from uh, from ford even though this was a front reference, we see major difference between the LED headlamps over here. So the concept has, uh, and the car has those elements over there, and um, they are completely, let's say, not missing from this proposed concept. Also, the car has this uh, wide, weirdly front trunk over here, and at the back, again the mesh is quite squished and um, cut out in the middle so that's that's odd as well i or i also have that open over here within blender so we're gonna see if i'm gonna scale this on the y-axis maybe the um, aspect ratio should be something more like this but for me now this car resembles something like um, renault captur from uh, from this perspective not sure exactly why but that's the car that uh, I think about when I, when I see that element. We see over here within the preview, so it was quite um, weird. We see some uh, some of the reconstructions. Another element that I added was this photo. And uh, for this, as we can see, this only has the preview done. So within the newly uh, version that is added to Common Sense Machine platform, you can add um, those photos and you will have um, an initial step of preview and only afterwards you can 
send it to, to the refine model. So refined mesh, and now the platform will start processing this using the chosen model version. But as you can see, I cannot change that, even though for this the previous has already been done. This is model version um, one. But on their platform, if you're gonna upload some images, you're gonna see that you can change to 101 over here. One of the main, uh, let's say, drawbacks I saw over here accepted formats, PNG and uh, JPEG files, and in parentheses, maximum five files. And I thought that I can add five images of the same element, and the AI platform will try to align those and make use of that information from all five images. But that's not the case. They were all loaded separately and they all will be processed and trained using only the reference position within that image. I'm sure that within a newer version they will address that and afterwards the platform will really start to create some uh, good 3D models. So keep that in mind that you cannot change the, the model version. I'm also going to do uh, a testing version using the same uh, five images with 101 and I'm gonna see how that those will turn out. We see for this card the refined uh, has been done and we're gonna see that overall again the car has some problems on the it's way too wide over here on the back with the car logo it's weird over here we see the chevrolet logo added so um, we can see where this uh, was trained i don't have this uh, already downloaded and added over here within uh, blender or maybe is this one let me take a look yeah is this one so sorry i had i have that the problem is that when i added this to refine it used to be positioned over here and uh, that misled me and this is the final model which I just started uh, that refining but as we can see for this one the preview mesh is also wide wide and uh, oddly deformed so let me know in the comment section what is the reference that you consider that generated the best let's say car that resembles the, the 408 I consider that maybe this one from uh, this perspective but there are some changes on the back but overall I think this is let's say the the best model that resembles that reference car okay so I hope you you like this content if you want um, if you want more content like this I will uh, add a video over here to the left of the screen which will be similar and to the right a subscribe button Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.